Today we are at the Umpqua National Forest on a mission to find Bigfoot. <gasps> I mean, go swimming and check out the hot springs. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are Tyler and Hope and we've been documenting our adventures as we make our two month journey across this beautiful country and sharing some van life tips and tricks along the way. Today we have just left the impressive Multnomah Falls, are exploring the Oregon wilderness and have just stumbled across some natural hot springs. Now we're only about an hour from Crater Lake National Park, so something fun that you can definitely hit and get both of those done, if not in the same day, in two days. Now there is a day use pass that you need, but you just get it right when you pull in, you put the $5, fill out the envelope, slide it in the slot, and put the hang tag on your car. Now this is a really short trail. It's very steep though, um, a little bit of rocky, kind of like lots of roots in the ground, so definitely wear your sneakers on your way up. We could have gotten out at every single scenic location because it's so beautiful, but if we did that, we'd never be here. It's a really scenic drive. We came from the Portland direction. So it's kind of like woods. It was a pretty easy road until about the last four miles. That was pretty dirt and rocky for the van. And this does close down at um, sunset. So we better keep moving. Keep moving. is about as relaxed as I can be considering I'm using a rock as a pillow. So they kind of cascade down. We've got like one that starts here and then we're in like kind of the second one and then it just kind of flows down. There's all these different pools. So it's really cool. Now the top one is going to be the hottest. We went in that first. It was really warm. We were only in there for about five minutes. We're like, okay, we got to jump down into the third one, which was kind of like bath water temp. And now we're in the second one and it's like hot tub water. It's perfect temperature. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, where the first hot tub we were in, the first spring we were in, was way too hot. The second one was nice, but a little too cold, and this third one right in the middle, perfect. Now, this is like the perfect amount of busy. There's not too many people, everyone's really spread out. We've just kind of all been rotating and switching throughout the pools, which is cool. Um, on the weekends, I heard it gets really crowded. I can imagine the parking is limited, so just again, get here earlier, get here a little bit later. We learned in Yellowstone that these hot springs get heated from the magma and the lava under the Earth's crust, and this is a pretty big volcanic region going from Washington, all the mountain rings were near, coming down to Oregon, so I'm assuming it's the same thing as lava and magma underneath the Earth's surface. It's causing these springs to get heated, and I don't hate it. There's not much else to say about this place, but you just gotta come visit for yourself, that's all I can say. It's, uh, it's something else. We came at around four o'clock on Friday and there really wasn't that many people here. I was kind of surprised. It's six o'clock now and we're leaving. There's a lot more groups coming down. Two things to note about this hot spring, definitely a little hippie vibe. Far out. And then second, it is clothing optional. So just be prepared for that. But today, 99% of people had on bathing suits, so. And if you're wondering why we aren't in Portland, it's because we got to Oregon kind of late and we didn't have a lot of time to do things there. We ended up 
waiting about two and a half hours for an oil change. And then we met Hope's cousin, Corinne and Justin at a brewery called Deep Space. It was a good time. We just didn't have a whole lot of time to explore Portland. campgrounds between there and towards Crater Lake. So we started making our way to Crater Lake and we thought we'd just find a campground because we were just about out of water, our tanks were full, but we kept pulling into all these different campgrounds and either they had water or they didn't have a dump station or it was closed because the campground's closing soon because it's almost out of season. We did find a pump out at a gas station near Diamond Lake and now we're at the Diamond Lake campground. We found a last minute spot here that had running water. So we were able to fill up here, pump out at the gas station. And after a couple of hours, we finally are able to sit down, gonna hop in the shower in a bit after this feast. <laughs> and then we will sleep very well tonight. So if you found value here, give us a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time tomorrow at Crater Lake.